three years ago, I published a video on how to turn your handwriting into a font using an iPad and an Apple Pencil. It involved customizing and downloading a template from online and loading that into Procreate, writing on the template, re-uploading that template, and then tweaking your font from there. But what if I shared an even easier or quicker way for creating fonts on the iPad and creating social media posts, sharing about your new font in just seconds? I am creating two different fonts today and sharing one of those for free with you linked down in the description. So let's go make some fonts. First, you wanna make sure you have your iPad, an Apple Pencil, and an app called FontSelf. I love how easy and fun FontSelf is to use, so I'm really excited to be working with them today to show you how you can create fonts yourself on iPad. It is a one-time payment of $19.99, but I find it well worth it to create as many real fonts as you want and showcase them in seconds. So this is the main interface of the app. You can choose from templates to get started like hand-drawn, serif, or even with an entirely blank template. Once you click into a template, on the right-hand side are anchor links. So it's really quick to jump between uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and punctuation while you're creating your font. If you tap the world icon, you can select different languages and extended characters and punctuation to add to the template as well. The gear shift icon allows you to further customize your template. So here you can make further changes like not displaying the full character in the cell, showing the cells, turning on and off grid lines. So these settings can be really helpful for initially setting up your template file. The pencil icon is where you can access different writing options for your font, a monoline pencil option, a brush and pen option, marker for example, and you further customize the settings of each option like the size, pressure, angle, the streamline, and playing around with these writing settings can achieve very different looks for your fonts that you create. For my first font, I want a really nice hand-drawn personal one that I can use for Instagram feed posts, text overlays in my videos like this one, and even inside my digital planner. So I want a monoline look for this one. So just testing that out to see how that looks and what tool that I want to use for that. I recommend turning up the streamline if you do want a more polished look for your font. What's really unique about FontSelf is that I can use the select tool to tap into each individual stroke and make changes. It feels really similar to Illustrator. I can go in and edit the path, anchor points, and really clean it up if I want to. So now I'm just gonna go through to each letter and writing it how I want it to look for my hand-drawn font. What's cool is that as I'm working through my font, I can see how it starts to look in real time here at the top of the app. It's also so easy to navigate and use the app, like with using two fingers to tap and undo mistakes like you can on other apps on iPad. Now that I have all of my letters and punctuation done for my font, I can click the wrench icon to further adjust how I want my font to look and work on my iPad or other devices where it is installed. So I can adjust the letter spacing and the actual spacing between the words. After I make those changes, I can see it in the live preview of my font here at the top. Once I have my font how I like it, I can take it a step further and access design templates that I can share in places like Instagram, or Facebook, or Twitter to either share or advertise the font that I created. The showcase section of the app is really fun because I can go into each of these design templates and customize the message or the quote, add images, change the background color or gradients, and some of the templates I find are super unique and fun and it's so easy to see your font in action. After seeing what my font looks like, maybe making some changes to it depending on how I liked it on the design templates, it's time to actually export and install the fonts and I'm going to show you how to do that on my iPad today. So you'll first tap the share icon and name your font. I'm going to call this font Fresh Squeeze because it just looks like a font that an orange juice brand might use. I don't know. So I'm going to export and save the file to my iCloud drive. That way, once it is installed on my iPad, I can install it on other devices like my MacBook or my iMac by accessing iCloud Drive. To 
install fonts on iPad, you want to make sure you have a font downloading app. I use and recommend iFont, which is a free download from the App Store. Then inside iFont, I can initiate the download to my iPad iFont tells you exactly what you need to do because installing fonts is a little bit finicky on the iPad. So after being in iFont, it directs me to go to the iPad settings, profile downloaded, and then tap install to finish adding that font to iPad. Any app that accesses the profiles downloaded to my iPad is where I'll be able to use my new font. So apps like GoodNotes, Notability, Procreate, Zinnia, not all apps tap into those font downloads. So you'll just have to head to the app you want to use it in and check to see if it does. So here's a look at the Fresh Squeeze font in my travel journal on my iPad. I love the fun handwritten feel of the font and think it fits very well in my journal about our trip on the road to Hana. If you love Fresh Squeeze, I'll have it as a free download for you to use in your digital journals. I have it linked down below in the description. But you can create so many different unique fonts using FontSelf, so I wanna quickly show you a hand-drawn serif font that I created that would be perfect for journaling, digital planning, and even creating digital stationary stickers and so on. So to get help with drawing a serif font, I am using the serif template in the FontSelf app as a guide for how I want my serif font to look. To get straight strokes for my serif because I want my font to look a little bit more polished than my hand-drawn one, I can draw my stroke and hold my Apple Pencil on the screen for it to automatically straighten and perfect my stroke. With drawing the serif font, I can use the select tool to move and adjust my strokes and even adjust the anchor points of my stroke to make it a little bit neater. With this font, I want to also add additional languages and to speed up the process, I am copying strokes from my other letters to work on the different characters of the other languages that I added. And now that I am done with my second font, I can go in and create the different design templates to show it off. So this font I am calling Magic Needle. If you like how it came out and want to use it for your digital planner or other creative projects, I'll have it linked below for you to check out. So that's how you can create fonts on the iPad. It's so easy for anyone to try it and get started with font making and typography. It's incredibly helpful to see the live preview of the font as you're creating it. Adjust very granular details of your font if you need to because it's all vector-based as you're working on it versus my previous method of font making with Procreate, which is raster as you're working. And it's fun designing with your font and font self makes it so easy to share and showcase your fonts to social media. So that's an updated tutorial on creating fonts on the iPad. This is one of my favorite things to do because it's so cool to digitize your handwriting and use it in things like your digital planner or journal or when you're drawing and designing in apps like Procreate. So thanks again to FontSelf for sponsoring this video so I can show you all how easy and fun it is to make and install fonts for yourself on iPad. Let me know what other things you'd love to learn how to make with your iPad down in the comments. And don't forget to download Fresh Squeeze on your way out. Bye.